everybody. We're at Stumptown Art Studio. I'm Michelle. And I'm Brittany. Thanks for joining us. We want to bring you guys some videos with examples of art projects that you can do at home with your kids. We want to make these videos easy and fun for you and the kids and also ones that use a lot of materials from your own home so you don't feel like you have to go out and buy a bunch of things to be able to spend time with your kids and create art. Yeah. Our time. So today what we want to show you guys is something called microwave bumpy paint. It's a really cool paint to make and it's super easy for kids, really fun, plays with textures and also popping it in the microwave. How cool is that? Okay, let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you're going to need. Flour, baking powder, salt, food coloring, Ziploc bags, rubber bands, and paper. All right, everybody. So to make the microwave bumpy paint, we have all our ingredients ready. So we're gonna start with our plastic bag. We're gonna put in one cup of flour. We have our baking powder. We're gonna put three table teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of salt. Next what we want to do is add enough water that we want this to be kind of a pancake batter texture. Really important that we add the water slow so we get the right texture. If it's too watery it doesn't work very well. Now what you can do is you can make a big batch and mix it all up and divide it into smaller and then add your food coloring. Or if you want, like me and Brittany are doing, we've made a smaller quantity. We divided the recipe in half and we're going to add the food color individually so that all of our bags come out a different color. So we're going to add a couple of drops of our food coloring to the bag and then mix it really well. Make sure you get all the air out of the bag as well before you start mixing. And then you have to mix it really well. Kids will love this part. Put it on the table, smush it around. If you're worried about it opening, you can add a little piece of tape all along the seam as well. mixing what you can do is kind of bunch it up a little bit and put a rubber band around it and that'll make it easier for the kids to hold on to and we're going to use it kind of like you would for putting icing on cake so we're going to put a rubber band around here and then cut a little bit of the tip off and then once we're done doing that your kids kids can use it to draw on their paper yep and also with the paper, if you use thicker paper, it works out really well. You can even print out a cool design that the kids could trace with the different types of colors and different bumpy paint they created. So, some different options there. And when we're all finished drawing, what we're going to do is take these to the microwave. Microwave them for about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how creative your kids decide to be. And then we'll show you the results. microwaving our pieces and this is the effect I don't know if you can see it but they get like super bumpy and foamy and just a really cool texture thing bumpy paint and then also they smell really good so <laughs> that's also a plus <laughs> so mine took about 30 seconds in the microwave 
Brittany's creation, because it has a little bit more paint, took about a minute. So you kind of just have to judge whatever your kids make, how long it needs to be in the microwave. Yeah. But it's a really fun project. I'm sure your kids will just want to keep doing it over and over, and you might have to bake some cookies when you're done. Yep. Exactly. Thanks for joining us and watching our video. Hopefully we'll be able to bring you a lot more videos of fun art projects for you guys to do at home and always welcome to come into the studio and create stuff here with us as well. Ready? Yep. Nope.